Although she isn't a political figure, Dolly Parton deserves to be indicted into the A-Push Hall of Fame due to her generous charity work and influence as a legendary country music star. Born January 19th of 1946 in Locust Ridge, Tennessee, a small town in Appalachia, Dolly Parton was the fourth of 12 kids. She grew up extremely poor, but this later became an inspiration for her music. Growing up, Dolly absolutely adored the likes of Rose Maddox and Molly O'Day, two country music stars from the 1940s and 50s that would later become inspiration for Dolly's own music. When asked about her success, Dolly credits her uncle Bill Owens, who bought her a guitar and taught her how to play as a young child. All of this paid off when at 10 years old, he got her a gig in Knoxville, Tennessee on a radio show. Her second gig didn't come until the age of 13 when she got a show at the Grand Old Open Theater. She began writing music, and at 16 years old, she signed onto Louisiana and Mercury Records. She quickly began to gain popularity due to her witty attitude, angelic voice, and outrageous dress. She was absolutely beautiful, and she didn't know it yet, but she was on her way to becoming a legend. In the early 1970s, she was dropped by Mercury Records, but RCA Records quickly picked her up, and she started making hits such as Jolene and 9 to 5. 9 to 5 became somewhat of a worker's anthem. The song was so popular, it inspired a movie, which later went to Broadway. All her hard work really began to pay off when in 1975 and 1976, the Country Music Association voted her best female vocalist. Then in 1978, she was voted best entertainer. In 2007, Dolly began her own record label titled Dolly Records. She signs young aspiring country artists and manages her own music. However, as outstanding as she is, she is far more than just a country singer. Throughout her career, Dolly has donated millions to charity and sponsored many philanthropic programs. One of these programs being her own. In the 1960s, she opened up Dollywood, a Dolly Parton theme park. She used the proceeds to set up the Dollywood Foundation, which gave $15,000 to high school students in Sarahville, Tennessee to further their education. On top of this, Dolly Parton also gives her employees at Dollywood 100% free tuition to further their education. At the beginning of lockdown, Dolly started the Imagination Library, which donated one book a month to children ages 0 to 5 in Tennessee. Over the lockdown, she donated over 178 million books. Though education is very important to Dolly Parton, it's not the only focus of her philanthropic efforts. At the start of COVID, she gave a million dollars to fund the Moderna Vaccine Project. And although she invested a great deal of money into it, when the vaccine was finally developed, she didn't skip the line, instead opting to wait like everyone else. In 2017, Dolly Parton spent a couple million dollars sponsoring the Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. As the hospital was being built, Dolly also invested another million dollars into creating the Dolly Parton Center for Women's Services. Dolly's generosity doesn't end with hospitals and education. In 2016, when her home state of Tennessee was raised by wildfires, Dolly invested $13 million to build relief programs. She worked directly with the families and spent over $9 million on food, mental health services, and utilities for families affected. We began the My People Fund, which provided $1,000 a month for six months to families affected by these fires. Then when Tennessee was plagued by floods, Dolly Parton spent over $700,000 on relief programs. Her generosity isn't limited to just people. In 1990, she built the Eagle Mountain Sanctuary in her Dollywood theme park. The sanctuary consists of over 30,000 square feet for eagles deemed unreleasable. And while it's mainly bald eagles, other species of birds call it home as well. Aside from her generous humanitarian work, Dolly Parton is an amazing role model. She is adored by so many people from all walks of life, mainly due to her authenticity. One thing people absolutely love about her is that even though she's become a big legendary music star, she never lost touch with her old country roots. She preaches self-love and has been very open about her plastic surgery and costumes. She has also stated time and time again that yes, while she does dress rather outrageous, none of it is for the male gaze. It's all for herself. Dolly has also solidified herself as a feminist icon due to her open views on her own plastic surgery. She's a powerful role model for young girls especially because of this. One reason that her honesty is so important and so impactful is because she's not preaching an unrealistic beauty standard. 
By being her authentic self, she is showing that you can be beautiful inside and out anyway. As long as you love yourself, it doesn't matter how you do it. She preaches kindness towards everybody and is a massive ally to the LGBTQ community. Dolly Parton is considered to be one of America's sweethearts. She is kind, she is generous, she is loving, and she is an amazing role model and singer. Because of all of this, she definitely deserves to be indicted into the Eighth Hall of Fame.